Proportionality, constant of proportionality from a graph. So open up that graph flap. So a graph must be linear. A graph must be linear and pass through the origin. A graph, so today we're going to be working with graphs, and your graph must be linear. And, so two things, and it must pass through the origin. And the origin is represented by the coordinates what? What's the ordered pair for the origin, Cody? X, Y. X, Y, but what are the numbers for X, Y? Zero, zero. It has to go through the middle. John. You got your earbuds. Open up your notebook. Sit up. And take your notes. What is linear? Okay. What did we learn yesterday that K represented? The Y value, or the, yeah, Y value over X value. Good. The y value over the x value. It's the ratio, and ratio is a fancy word for fraction of y value over the x value. And the ratio must be in what? The ratio must be proportional. Uh, it's proportional to the other one. Which, so if it's proportional, meaning they're all the same, which one are we going to pick? Simplest form. Must be in simplest form. All right, so let's talk it through. Is this guy right here, this first one, is it proportional or not proportional? So let's see, let's check. Is it linear? What does linear mean? A straight line. No bends, no curves, no twists and turns. Yes, it's a straight line. And does it pass through the origin? Here's the middle. Does it pass through? Yeah. Yes, so it's proportional, prop. Now here's the hard part. Let's find our ratio. What's the change in our y value over the change in our x value? So that's asking y means which way? What direction does y go? Up. And which way does x go? across. So let's see. This goes up one, two, and over one. Do you see that? So watch again. Let me zoom in a lot so you can see. There aren't ordered pairs on there, but here's an ordered pair at the origin. And here's another order pair. How come I didn't put an ordered pair right there? Why didn't I put a dot right there? Why is there not a dot? I mean, I can put one there. Could I put it right there? But why is that not the place to put a dot, Morgan? Correct. 
I want it to be over one. And if I went here, it'd be over what? A half. a half. And that's not a unit rate. I want it to go up and over one. It must be a unit rate. Simplest form, unit rate. Okay. So what's my K value? How many did I go up? What was my Y value? Two. And how many did I go over? One. Let's try the next one. Is that shape proportional? Why not? It's not linear, but does it go through the origin? So it meets one of the criteria. It does go through the origin, but it's not a line. It's not linear. So it's not proportional. Is there a constant of proportionality? Okay, let's talk about the next one. Is it linear? No. Yes. Yes. Does it go through the origin? No. Let's talk about the next one. Is it linear? Yes. Does it go through the origin? Yes. Now here's the trick. I can zoom in again for you. Let's see. It must be over one. So here's my trick. You told me that the Y value goes up, correct? Does the Y value go anywhere else? It also goes down. So if I'm looking and I want it to be over one, so if I go over one, what am I going to have to do? I went over one. I could, I could go over one. But going over one, if I go to the right, that's a positive. And if I go to the left, it's a negative. And which one do I want on the bottom? Positive one. So I have to go over one. So now what do I do? You go down one. So what's my constant of proportionality? Negative one over one. Because I'm going down one space and over one space. Down one space and over one space. Down one, over one, down one, over one, down one, over one. I want my bottom, my denominator to be a positive one. Because it needs to be over one. All right, let's talk equations next. No, they're stickers. They're made specially for your fingernails. All right, let's talk equations. Proportional equations must be in y equals kx. If it's a proportional equation, if it doesn't start with y equals, the answer is no. If it doesn't have the variable x, the answer is no. Maddox and Katie, ignore him, please. And k is the what? What does k represent? Keep going. <laughs> of proportionality. Yeah. 
What do you know about K? There's lots of stuff we know about it by now. It's the constant of proportionality. What else is it? It's the Y value over the X value. It's a ratio, which is a fancy word for a fraction. What else do I know about it? It's a variable. You keep saying that and I keep not writing it down. It's a unit rate. What does unit rate mean? The denominator value is 1. What else do you know about K, Autumn? It could be an integer. Or it could be a fraction. Right? If you have the number 3, is that really a fraction? Yeah. It's really 3 over 1, but we just don't say it's 3 over 1. All right, let's talk it through. Y equals 10K, is it proportional or not proportional? Is it written Y equals KX? Yes. yes, so it's proportional. What's the constant of proportionality? 10 over 1. Y equals 3.2X, is it proportional or not pr proportional? Yep. What's the constant of proportionality? Makes me sad. 3.2 over 1. Right? Like, yeah, I mean, like decimals inside of fractions, ugh, right? Next one, y equals 3x plus 4. Proportional or not proportional? Because there's a plus 4. We don't want any plus or minusing in our problem. All right, next one, y equals 5 thirds x. Proportional. The K got cut off. What's the K value? 5 over 3. Five over three. Can you make it better? One point six repeating over one. Right? I mean, like, if we want it to be a constant of proportionality, we want it to be over 1, correct? Or could you have made it 5 times 1 divided by 3, right? That's it. Number, whatever this is, 5. Proportional or not proportional? Because there's an x squared. And there's a plus or minus number. Next one, proportional or not proportional? It's proportional. What is the constant of proportionality? 